Hi friends, today we're going to talk all about paper mache using plaster strips. So you've probably done paper mache before as a kid where you would create some sort of an armature and then lay like newspaper dipped in glue to create that paper mache form. Um, probably maybe in elementary school where you laid it onto a balloon. For the next two days we're going to be creating an armature which is basically a structure for your sculpture and then on day two, we're going to actually lay on the plaster strip. So today's is going to be working through how to build an armature. This is an armature of a pair. It is made out of newspaper and masking tape. There's lots of different things you can use to create an armature. Newspaper and masking tape are one of the easiest ways, but you can also create armatures out of wire. You can create armatures out of um, different types of metal uh, like fencing type of material. Uh, another material that's good is uh, aluminum foil. So you can find all of these at your table and you're welcome to try them out and use them. So we want to keep our armature simple for this uh, activity. So I'm going to have you choose some sort of food item. Fruit and vegetable, like this pear works great. Um, for this demo, I'm going to make a chicken leg just because it has a very simple kind of structure and form. The easiest way to start is just using masking tape and newspaper. So I'm making that ball top part of the chicken leg. I'm just taking the newspaper and creating a ball and then wrapping the tape around it. Next you'll see me use some of that wire. Just be careful when you cut it. It does have sharp ends, but it's good for making like cylinder shapes. I'm going to use that for like the bone part of the chicken leg. And I'm going to wrap it in tape then too because the plaster strips stick better to the tape. And then I'm going to use foil to create the like little end balls of the bone. And same thing, I'm going to kind of connect them on there and just kind of cover them with tape. I would try to have your whole thing covered with tape, even if you use other materials to create your armature. It just makes a better surface sticking for the plaster strips, which will be the next step. Now you can see my finished sculpture armature, and it's going to be ready to handle the plaster strips at this point. Um, you know, you kind of want to smooth out any like really big corners or edges with the masking tape. I'm kind of rounding the top here. So once you have the armature all built, now it's time to watch the next step.